It's time! Hello, this is Caveman PRDR, and welcome to another one of my YouTube videos. Hello, welcome to another edition of the Halo VOD review series featuring a ranked competitive uh, playlist match of strongholds on rig simple simple gameplay really not a high kill game by any means we kept it low deaths and we played we played around the outside which i prefer to do on this map or particularly on this game type so uh, without further ado we're just going to go straight into the gameplay so right off the rip I get a really, really close spawn to the uh, basement point, to the basement capture point. We'll, we'll highlight a couple things real quick. And I know since I really like having the outside control, I want to try to capture whatever point I'm closest to as fast as possible while the enemy is inside spawning and trying to capture BR base. So... The first thing I do immediately after I capture the basement is run up to get the scattershot shotgun. So the reason that I do this is to use it to control this part of the map. Basement is a very good enclosed area. This, this hallway that I'm going up to, uh, Long Hall, it is a very good enclosed close, co close quarters combat area. So this shotgun ideally works very well in the area on this part of the map around basement, around uh, around long. So that's why I go and grab the shotgun. Now I do push up toward the mid with it, and I see that railgun's here, so I go ahead and pick up the railgun because I know it's there. With the opening that I have, I want to go take a look at Nest because I know they're capturing Nest. However, when I'm getting shot at, I just want to do my best to back off a little bit. So, we've lost both points right now. The best thing we can do is just try to slay them out. And whenever we can get the slays down, then we can go push Nest. So, uh, I try to help get some kills right here. Our teammate's getting Nest. I'm going to go help uh, this teammate try to get Blue, or try to get Basement, rather. And lo and behold, we have basement control. I see my teammate that was over in basement fighting over at the scattershot spawn. So I want to help him out. Which I have a teammate that's already doing that. I see, uh, I'm looking over at Nest and I see that there's enemies trying to capture Nest. So I want to try to throw a nade off of the back of the wall, ideally, to land onto the point. And right here, I want to use railgun for its strengths, which is basically shooting distance shots. So, you saw when I had the scatter shot and I dropped it for the rail gun, I immediately went back toward the outside of the map. Scatter shots are generally better used for the uh, generally better used for the longer range engagements. It doesn't mean you can't use it up close. It's just uh, it was just made to, it was just designed to be that way. In 10 seconds. So, uh, I do have my team pushing in toward an inside spawn right here, and I know that there's a guy under me. Now, he actually, uh, he probably either came around, but his, either way, his team got the outside on me, so they were able to backsmack me right there. And they probably used, like, what was very little left of the uh, railgun. So immediately off my respawn, I want to go push toward basement. Now I'm not necessarily going to sit and capture on it. I'm going to get the scatter shot and I'm going to hold on to the scatter shot. What I want to do is try to slay to set up the objective. So right here, I get a kill on one of the guys that were on the red spawns. And I know I'm very weak right there, so I want to try to do a little bit of movement to get away from that plasmonade so it doesn't kill me. And this guy knows that I'm still around, so I kind of want to bait him to get him to come back by toward me. So I can help my teammate kill him. And unfortunately, I do bait my teammate right there. 
but the red team is actually getting their original inside spawn back. So that opens up a little bit of space for us to go capture nest and basement. And the first thing that I'm doing with Scattershot, what am I doing with it and where am I at with it? I'm sitting either back rail, white hall, or not white hall, excuse me, long hall, or I'm in basement with it. I'm picking up the guns that I'm supposed to be using them and putting, using them in the place where they're supposed to be. So, uh, what you're going to see from me the majority of this match is just positioning around this area. So, this guy gets me pretty weak. I bait him into pushing up within the shoddy range, and then I just use I just use the scatter shot. And whenever my teammate comes in to help me, I just I help him kill the last guy with the scatter shot. Now I see this guy. Uh, he's he's not properly positioned to hide. So I put some I put some damage into him, and then my teammate actually cleans him up while we're holding off this very last guy over at that back rail uh, uh, canister spawn, the the yellow spawn, or the uh, scatter shot spawn. My teammate and I are holding off this very last guy, and with our team shots, we get the kill on him. Now we see that there are two people getting nest, so ideally. I have like one or two nades that I can throw off the back wall, and we used to fight right there. I think that ended up being a 2v2, but uh, I got focused down, or the guy that was downstairs focused on me first. So you see me spawn the uh, bottom t tower here. I'm facing, uh, I'm facing basement, but I know that based off of the positioning, how I usually like to play this map, I immediately turn back around and go toward the uh, basement and back reel. So I do want to try to help fight this guy and get this guy to clear out, but unfortunately his teammates there to help him. And quite frankly, I just choke on killing him because he was one shot. But uh, anyway, off of the respawn, you see me come back and get scatter shot again. Now I am still using the scatter shot in the little bit of an area that would be good for me. However, the moment that I get out of Whitehall, I kind of get exposed. And I did, I did eat a pre-nade right before that. So that was two, like... So that was a couple of deaths in a row. I know my teammates were fighting a guy in the White Hall. So I, I tried to throw that nade into that connector, uh, connector doorway. Or the white connector hall to try to do a little bit of damage. My teammate, my teammates and I try to team up on this guy in basement. So the idea, in, in my opinion, the idea is to have two people be ready to watch this and have two people be ready to fight on basement. And if you can do that, you can neutralize pretty much any one person push. Now, obviously they have four people, but you get the idea. Or maybe have like one person watching nest, having one person watching basement, and then you have this floater or this anchor, which I'm pretty much doing, where I'm sitting back rail, or I'm going over to the connector stairs, the red connector stairs, to see uh, if they're going to spawn, or if they're going to push, if the enemy team's going to be pushing nest from the red spawns. So, the entirety of this match... The closest to the inside of the map you literally ever see me is a railgun spawn. Or you see me in the, uh, basically white corner. You never see me push any further into this map. Now, uh, <clears throat> the stat line's not going to say very much. I went 15, 4, and 11. Now, that is nearly a 4 KD. But it was all all simple gameplay, mostly just based off of positioning. This is how you anchor. This is how you properly anchor. And I'm not talking about the kind of anchoring where you make it very hard for your team to win because you go 4-26. I'm talking about taking care of solid positioning 
and knowing where your weapon weapons that you pick up on the map is most effective where and that is how I personally prefer to play rig strongholds in the HCS settings uh, solo queue playlist I went what was it was my KD it only pulled it up once I went 15 4 and 11 that round now you did see where I died a couple times because I made a couple, couple pushes back toward the inside, but uh, overall very well executed game. Hello, this is Caveman PRDR. Thank you for joining me on another one of my YouTube videos today. If you enjoyed the content, please like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and comment down below any questions or uh, comments that you have about the content. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.